first fish of the day and it was a 42 centimeter snapper stoked scallops on the menu look at that fat as <laughs> if you're into coating your seafood with breadcrumbs then here's a way to put a little twist on it and add some different flavor <laughs> Well, good morning. Here we are at the start of spring, heading out today in search of uh, whatever. Just, just keen to get out there. Haven't had a day off in so long, and really keen to get into some fishing action. Um, I'm joined by Andrew Fleming today again, and possibly one other. We'll see if he turns up. Um, yeah, so today going to just do a bit of a prospect. We're leaving from Wyana Bay, which is right in Coromandel Harbour. It's one of my favourite places to launch but you need to be aware that this area is very tidal so launching here at low tide is, is not a great thing because you'll end up driving along the coast a little bit and if you haven't got a four wheel drive it doesn't work so yeah so pick your times to launch here but there's some great fishing opportunities out through the gap between Waiana Bay and Whanganui where you can prospect so we're going to head out there we're going to look around all the islands on our way out to Scallop Spot that's my plan this afternoon is to get out there and get a feed of scallops first of the season we're, we're on it's the 3rd of September today and um, yeah the scallop season's been open just a few days so apparently they're quite nice and fat um, we haven't got ideal conditions for fishing either full moon but that's never bothered me um, you know the fishing might be a little slower but um, I've heard the fishing's been quite good lately so Full moon or not, we're getting out there and hopefully we're getting in some good fish. So let's go. First fish of the day. Front camera's malfunctioned for some reason, so here we go. Legal snapper, look at that. Man, and this is full moon fishing? That's on a hollow belly. Oh, he's well hooked. He wasn't coming off. There you go. First fish of the day. Back she goes. Woo. Well, that was awesome. For some reason, I had a front camera malfunction. Sorted now. But, um, yeah, first fish of the day, and it was a 42-centimetre snapper. Stoked. So that went back. Signs are looking good for the rest of the day. Well, of all the things, just saw a bit of sign on the sounder. Not sure what it is and uh, started working, dropped the can jig down, started working the jig and look at this, baby barracuda. Oh, these are good little baits. You know, if you're wanting to, um, if you're wanting to catch a bloody, catch a pocket with that, but um, not much good to us. And see you later, man, slimy things. But this time of the year in Coromandel here, you can get a lot of these smaller, size barracuda around so yeah when you when you find those it's time to leave all right well andrew and i have been doing it really hard and um this area there's a lot of boats around um man i'm just it's like auckland blimmin central here today i can't get over the number of boats that are out here so it's making it a little bit hard for us because that noisy stuff is disturbing the fish but on saying that we just saw a bit of sign on a nice little area and we um we cast out and yeah i've i've hit my um hit a nice fish nice eater so yeah beautiful look at that i'm gonna keep this one great eating size fish look at that lovely i've switched to a gulp jerk shad curried chicken just for the minute because things have got really slow and tough on the um fishing front i've uh I've upped my baits, I've gone to the best, which is the centred, because fishing is quite slow today. You know, it's this fish sign there and we're struggling to get them to take at times. And this is where the gulps sort of win over when it comes to soft plastics and soft baits. Oh man, have we been doing it tough. It's been a very slow day and the amount of boats around is incredible. It's like a, a weekend. I just cannot believe how many boats are out here and people with dredges, you know, absolutely shocking. I'm not into dredges, but um, 
there's a lot of dredging going on and it's really upsetting to me because I know what that does to the fishery, to the bottom, to the sea floor, you know, it's, it's horrible what happens. But anyway, I've managed to get myself a nice car wai, but I'm going to let this guy go. He's a bit skinny on it, uh, probably just spawned actually because, um, yeah, it's pretty skinny. You can see, see how skinny that fish is, it's only little. So we'll let him go, see you bud. Slack tide was now fast approaching, so it was time to go get geared up for a scallop dive. menu and it'd be rude not to try one you know hope I haven't got any snot coming out of my nose but um, really hard going but managed to secure a, a good feed and um, of course I kept one of my 20 for this because you know if you've never tried a scallop when it's been fresh then you're missing out. Look at that. Fat as. <laughs> oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Last year I basically didn't go scalloping at all because it was just so, so uh, tough going. And even here, you know, the scallops are pretty spread out, but um, works good for a free diver because we can cover a bit of ground and find them even if they're packed individually and I found the odd ones where they, there was two or three but you know but um, anyway the spoils of diving <laughs> mm, that is good it is just so creamy and so sweet yeah bloody awesome so yeah, that's my scallop dive, got my 20, well I've got 19 now, and um, yeah, we're going to, Andrew and I have had a bit of a tough one with the fishing, but we're going we're gonna to carry on now, I'm going to get changed and then uh, we're going to carry on fishing, so see what happens this afternoon, hopefully it's a, a bit more productive than what we had, you know, today, this morning, out here. But we're going to go and try a couple of my local little shallow spots and see how we go with that. Alright, well we just come across a... Well, we come around, come having a look at our corner. Oh, yes! And, um, yeah, we just... There's a big bunch of kawai, you know, just started coming down. And, um, oh, I think that's what I've got here. I'm using the jig to hopefully try and, um, subdue a snapper, but, um... There's so many kawai here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, and they're feeding up on these little white fish. There we go, he just got unhooked. But I'm hoping that there's some, some actual snapper underneath this, because um, yeah, but the kawai are everywhere. You know, there's, there's tons of them all around us, and it's quite cool. So hopefully a couple of snaps in there will get us some, um, yep. Here's a snapper, definitely, but not, not the size we're looking for, you know. However, we will take we will take whatever we can put on the end of the line, just a little baby snapper. But, um, you know, with these kawai, there is other fish with it, so hopefully they just get a bit bigger, you know. That's the plan. So, yeah, keep trying. I've got the jigs, I was on the softies before, but with the softies, the kawai just love them. 
you know so yeah I try and put the jig down to try and um, get it some interest from something else that's underneath this school of kawai be nice if it was a kingfish but you just never know but yeah big big workups all over here it's great some nice looking sign and down below there man just be good if it was a bit big you know of decent size so keep working up and dropping down all the time and just seeing if we can just pluck something good out of the what's down there well what a night look at it beautiful but it's time to head back now for me pretty non-eventful day really but that's fishing you know today full moon actually did do what you'd expect of a full moon and a southerly wind in there and now it's sort of uh, died off which is kind of nice but um, the fishing's been really really hard um, on saying that though we did catch quite a few fish and I've got a couple to keep in the back so a couple of, couple of snapper to keep and um, some scallops mate scallops are well worth the effort but we did a big mission today we went on a lot we went looking for fish and the amount of traffic in that out there just unbelievable so yeah it's um you know it's basically winter spring and very cold southerly winds so yep and that's fishing but anyway thanks for watching and um keep watching there's a couple couple of recipes coming right up If you're into coating your seafood with breadcrumbs, then here's a way to put a little twist on it and add some different flavour. To make this special crumb mix, you'll need two cups of panko breadcrumbs, three to four cloves of garlic, a small bunch of parsley, and a quarter of a cup of grated parmesan cheese. Other ingredients you'll need for coating the seafood are flour and whisked egg. First get your parsley and remove it all from the main stalks. Then grab a knife and chop the parsley so it's medium to fine. Now grab your garlic cloves and remove the husks. Using the knife, roughly chop the garlic so that it's into fairly small pieces. Now, if you haven't already got grated cheese, grate your parmesan cheese. In a decent sized bowl, grab your breadcrumbs, parsley, garlic and parmesan cheese. Mix well to combine all the ingredients. Now get your seafood of choice, pat it dry with paper towels before dusting it in the flour. When using fish, it's up to you what size you want to make these pieces. I like to make them small bite size because that makes them easy to cook and the crumb mix makes them real tasty. After dusting with flour, dip your seafood in the egg mix before placing in the bowl of crumb mix and evenly coating. Preheat your fry pan, then add equal amounts of olive oil and butter and heat until smoking. Then add the fish and cook until golden brown on both sides, approximately a minute and a half to two minutes each side. Drain on paper towels. Now all that's left is to eat it. To serve, season with salt and pepper and a slice of lemon. This can be pretty much dished up with anything like a salad potatoes it's such a diverse way of coating and serving the seafood and i'm sure you'll just love this recipe